Okay, hey everybody, I'm um, back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about a non trend specific deduction. This is the code 55. Uh, so, what is the code 55? The code 55 is for a diebu. Uh, here we have the rules for international wushu competition, and this is under uh, standards of movements in non trend So, this is the, again, group uh, A judge deductions. So, under stances, uh, under gongbu, mabu, and shubu, we have uh, diebu, or the butterfly stance. There are two criteria for deductions from the A judges for the diebu, and that is if the inner side of the calf of the kneeling leg is not on the carpet, or if the inner side of the heel of the kneeling leg is not on the carpet. So which leg is the kneeling leg? In most cases, this is the right leg. This is the leg that uh, comes in contact with the ground. The, the non-kneeling leg would be the forward leg most often the left leg, which has the, the sole of the foot on the ground. So let's dive into the judge's course book. So uh, under judging method, it says that the inner part of the calf and the inner part of the ankle right, is the inner area from the knee down to the inner heel. All right, so that entire length of, of, the, of the leg. Should any part of this be raised off the ground, the deduction should be made. So this basically means for the, for the kneeling leg, in most cases that's the right leg, that not only does the knee have to be touching the ground, but the foot has to be turned outward and the entire length, right, from the knee all the way down to the heel, the inner side must be touching the carpet. Uh, let's jump into a few videos and then uh, we can see if we can apply some of this. Uh, first up, here are some videos from the men's compulsory nanshan. This is from last year's world championships. And uh, this first section, we're going to be looking at diebus that meet the requirements, right? Diebus that would not get a code 55 deduction. Okay, from the knee, right, all the way along the calf to the heel, that is flat on the carpet. All right, here's another good diebu, right? You can see from the heel all the way to the knee, touching the carpet. Again, a clean diebu, right? Again, a uh, good, good diebu, so no code 55s. Uh, I should also note that, uh, remember, there are only two, two errors for deduction here. So the judges are not looking at the, the angle of the thigh of the front leg. They're not looking at the angle of the hips or how open the stance is. The A judges are just looking for those two things, right? That the inner side of the calf and that the inner part of the heel is touching the ground. Okay, let's take a look at some diebus that do not meet those requirements and we'll, we'll try to figure out which one of those requirements it does not meet. All right. So let's back that up and take a look at that in action one more time. So as you can see here, right, the, the athlete's knee is touching the ground, but it is clear that the inner part of the heel is not, right? The, the foot is angled up there so that the heel is not touching the ground. So this would be a code 55. There's another athlete. Same thing, right? Can you see that? See how the, the sole of the foot, you can see, is angled up. Therefore, the, the inner part of the heel is not touching, right? All right, clearly not on the, not on the, not on the ground, right? Yeah, see, the, the knee is touching, but the inner part of the calf is not touching because of the angle of his leg, and also the heel is not touching. This is a code 55. Okay, in this case, let's let's go back and take a look at it in real time. All right, so the athlete has, has completed his jump inside, he's completed the Shrenfung Jiao, has lost his balance. So you can see him swaying back, right? His right knee never touches the ground. Let's let's take a look at that again. Okay, so the body is swaying, right? The foot is stepping, so that's a code 70. But what about the diebu, right? In, in one way of looking at this, 
you could say, well, that's a code 55 because the knee is not touching the ground. But also, right, he actually never uh, stops in a motionless state. Okay, so uh, this is uh, this is not specific to the code 55. This is actually specific to all stances, right? Uh, here's a screenshot from the judge's course book, and it says this is under stances and footwork. Okay, so when the A judges are evaluating stances, the course book says evaluate the stance when the athlete is in a station is stationary in a static position. Okay, so in this case, because he's ne he never stops moving, right? He never fully stops in the diabu, the A judges may not judge this according to the requirements for a diabu because the diabu is actually never formed, right? He does not come to a, a motionless state. Okay, uh, I wanted to show this athlete um, as an example of what you can and cannot see in a video. So this athlete, I'm gonna show you uh, two of his jump insides to diabu, then we're gonna look at it in slow motion and then we're going to look at the scoreboard, okay? Okay, what do you think of those? It looks pretty close to me. Let's, let's take a look at it again in real time. It's the first one. Here's the second one. Okay, so in real time from this camera angle, it looks like it's okay, but let's take a look at it again in slow motion. This is actually uh, in slow motion from, from the broadcast of the competition. Okay, now notice from this camera angle, right, the camera angle before was much higher, right, the camera was elevated, we're looking down at the athlete, and it's a little bit further away. Right, this camera is zoomed in more, and is at a lower angle. We're, we're closer to the angle that the judges are at. And look at the heel here, right? It's a little bit lifted off the ground. So what happened to this athlete? Code 55, right? So just, that's just an example. When you're looking at competition videos, right, really take into consideration what the camera angle is seeing and then what the judges are seeing. So in this case, the judges were seeing more than what we were seeing from the camera angle. Okay, so we've looked at a few videos of uh, Diabu's that uh, met the requirements, right, that did not uh, result in a Code 55 deduction. Then we looked at some uh, videos of some athletes that, that did get the Code 55, either the, the inner side of the calf or the inner part of the heel was not touching the ground. Let's take a look at some videos of some Diabu's that have some other errors going on and we can kind of decipher what's going on. Okay, so what about this? Let's take a look one more time. Okay, so when the Diabu is finally formed, this, this looks good, right? It meets the requirements that this would not be a code 55. But if you noticed, when the athlete lands, he's clearly landing with one foot first, then the other foot, and then sliding into the diabu. So what would happen here, right? This would not be an, an A judge deduction. This would not be a code 55. But what this would be is that the athlete would not get the connecting points from the C judges, right? So this is a difficulty movement, the Shuang Feng Jiao 540, into a difficulty connection, which is the diabu. Because the athlete lands with one foot first, then the other, there would be no points for the connection. All right, what about that? All right, so the athlete lands with both feet, right? The diabu requirements are there but he takes an extra step with the left foot. This would be a code 70. So remember, the code 70 is going to be a sway, a shuffle, or a skip. So in this case, because his left foot leaves the ground and takes a step, this is a skip and would result in a code 70. Okay, clearly landing on one foot first, then the other. Right, so there would be no connecting points from the C judges, but also 
take a look at the angle of the athlete's body when that foot, first foot touches the ground. All right. Remember, this is supposed to be a 540, right? So when the athlete lands, right, his body should be facing the direction that he's going. So in this case, because he lands with the body facing backwards, right, and, and more of like a 360, and because uh, he lands with one foot first and then the other, he would probably get no difficulty points, not, neither for the Shang Feng Zhao or for the uh, Dia Bu connecting. Okay, so he hits the Dia Bu, right? And the requirements are there. The inner part of the calf is there, the, the foot is there, but then he loses balance. He leans forward and he touches the ground. So this is a code 71, right? Code 71 is for an added, uh, added support. So because his hand touches the ground, he gets a code 71 and this is a 0.2 deduction. Uh, very similar here, but instead of losing his balance and leaning forward, right, he leans back and touches the ground. So this is also a code 71, also a 0.2 deduction. But in neither of those cases would he get a, a code 55. Okay, so just to review, the A judges for the code 55 for the Diebu are looking for two things, right? For the inner part of the calf to be touching the ground and also for the inner heel to be touching the ground. That means the entire length from the knee all the way down to the heel that all must be touching the ground. It must stay in contact with the ground. If either of those uh, leave contact with the ground, the A judges will deduct a code 55, a 0.1 deduction. Uh, hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.